My name is Muzaffar Hassan. Uh, I work uh, uh, for Supernet and have been there for the last four years uh, as a general manager of corporate uh, services. And uh, I had over 15 years of experience uh, in the, this sector, ICT plus telecom. Unfortunately, we lag behind as compared to a lot of uh, neighboring neighboring countries. And it would be unfair to just look at broadband penetration numbers to see that we are doing great. You have to look at the use of that penetration. Uh, India's broadband penetration is less than ours, you know, ours, but their use of that penetration, broadband penetration is much better and that is evident uh, from the efficiencies locally that their organizations uh, have created through ICT infrastructure and their technology exports. They have more than 10 billion technology exports where we have less than half a billion, you know. And broadband penetration in Pakistan is increasing and it is, Pakistan is a hub of uh, new technologies like WiMAX, Evo and all that, you know. But currently uh, all these uh, technologies uh, the major use is just entertainment uh, purposes, you know, as used in education a, a bit by students, you know, and businesses are using it to, to, to a good extent, but still there is a long way to go until and unless they use ICT and this broadband and integrate into their value, value chains, you know, you know, and there is a long way to go. First, let's just, you know, uh, look at the market, you know, the market is uh, corporate clients, high-end SME, then SMEs, then VSMEs, and all of them, no doubt, have realized, uh, especially the the SMEs and high-end SMEs and the corporate clients, that uh, connectivity is must, and they require connectivity to run their applications through which they control their business processes. So that uh, is increasing tremendously, and definitely they have a lot of options available. If you look at metropolitan areas, five, five, ten, five, eight years ago, there was hardly anything, you know. You cannot simply stop uh, the wheel of uh, progress, and wherever the progress uh, is, and the progress, the name of the progress is efficiency, you know, optimization. Uh, all these things that you have talked about leads toward that. But uh, market dynamics have uh, their say uh, in terms of when will these services will be used and actually start generating revenue and makes a good business sense. There's no doubt that convergence uh, uh, is happening and it will happen. Voice, video, data and all the value added services on a single pipe, you know. Is, uh, is a dream and it's happening in a lot of countries. It will happen in Pakistan, it has started. So yes, the companies are moving towards that. So now talk about uh, using uh, software's ASP model or virtualization or cloud computing. The consumer market is connectivity market is in the hand of few players and uh, which is which have uh, which are either DSL and there is one big player of DSL which is PTCL and then there are WiMAX operators as well you know and this market uh, is going to expand to the VSME level as well because the rates are uh, very attractive you know and consumers would like to use a lot of services yes uh, but if you look at your uh, data traffic 97 percent of the traffic goes outside the country and uh, there is hardly any local content available in this country so if uh, you know, I think uh, government, uh, broadband infrastructure companies, broadband marketing companies, big, big, big organizations, uh, as well as uh, uh, institutions, uh, government institutions, as well as local governments, uh, has have to work together to develop com uh, content, um, uh, like placing all the social services localized in, uh, you know, a small. Uh, town you know or post office uh, you know your your post offices are there 13,000 post offices in this country I, I think currently what is happening in Pakistan is a pretty good sign that penetration is increasing competition is increasing broadband among the broadband companies and the cost is going down you know uh, that has uh, a great impact at least now people are having a tool through which there is a chance that they can change their life and in the process of changing their life 
contributes towards the GDP growth and hence the economic development, you know. Export have a big potential, I agree. But there is one side that is sometimes ignored or not talked as much when we talk about the sector is that the efficiencies created if we provide local services at street level, at a district level, to the people of that community, community level, uh, which includes all the social services, education uh, related services, um, you know, health services, you know, and that has a potential to have, uh, say, you know, uh, really make the society efficient and saves tremendous amount of dollar value, which is going to add your add to your GDP. Remember, people always talk about when they say contribution towards GDP, if you have new revenue stream, that's only half the story. If you save money through efficiency, that also contributes towards GDP growth. And I see a big potential. You've got to somehow break the barrier of language to use internet service. I'll give you an example of mobile. It's so easy to use. There's 10 crore 65% of your country's population have that and they use that because it doesn't require any, uh, it's easy to use, anybody can use it in the village and that has uh, contributed to the life of a lot of people. So we need to be re really innovative and creative here that we need to launch applications uh, which serves each sector and that has to be promoted through community level you know agriculture in India there is each opals and that's a very successful model you know and uh, through each opals they they provide information about you know agriculture similarly education you know you know uh, there's a lot of distance learning programs you know so I think that is uh, something where the real contribution uh, and I am more uh, uh, optimistic about creating or in increasing uh, revenue or in increasing the GDP growth through efficiency through the local because that is in our control and at the same time you got to have a two-pronged strategy at the same time you need to have uh, export oriented market as well. Supernet uh, is uh, mashallah growing at a uh, very rapid uh, pace we have uh, revenues uh, uh, of more than a billion rupees and consistent for the last three years and hopefully uh, we are pretty sure that uh, we will sustain this momentum uh, and uh, we deal with high-end corporate clients and our product portfolio uh, uh, is increasing. We have all type of connectivity solutions from uh, Vimex to VSATs to radios to fiber uh, that we provide to our customers by adding a lot of value, our support and our customized services and uh, we would um, you know, grow uh, and try to add more products to serve our target market, which is the high-end uh, clientele, high-end corporate market, and add more products in this regard, like uh, co-location services we recently have added. Plus, we just have uh, a, a joint uh, deal uh, with a company called uh, Abu Dhabi-based company who's launching Yaklik ya by the name of Yaklik, you know. Uh, they have launched two satellites recently over the Middle East region. One is being launched, the other is being uh, will be launched in by uh, December, and uh, you know we'll be providing broadband internet through uh, satellite, small satellite dish uh, throughout the country. So that's the next product that we are launching very soon, six months.